Welcome to Automation Academy TV. Our discussion for today is how to read hydraulic schematic diagram. Hydraulic is derived from the Greek word. Hydro means water and olos means pipe. Now let's discuss the component of hydraulic system. This is the symbol and actual picture of double acting cylinder. Four three-way directional control valve. Pressure relief bulb, hydraulic pump, hydraulic filter, and hydraulic tank. Before we proceed on how to read hydraulic schematic diagram, let's discuss first the directional control valve because this is the most important component of hydraulic system. This is a four three way directional control valve and the four means how many number of ports and for the three how many number of switching position or box this is port number one port number two port number three and port number four and for the three means number of switching position or box this is position number one Position number two, position number three, and for letter designation, P means supply lines, T means return lines, A and B is working lines. And the last one is the symbol of solenoid bulbs with return spring. Here we have three positions in this hydraulic diagram. Piston cylinder extending, piston cylinder retracting, and piston in neutral or not moving. Let's start with piston extending. When the solenoid one is activated by electrical signal, the pressurized oil that is generated by a pump will pass through a normally open ports of the four three valve and will enter into the port A of the cylinder and the piston will move from left to right. And the oil of the piston side, port B, will automatically return to the oil tank via port B of the cylinder, through the directional valve, through filter, and back to the oil tank. In my next video part two, I will discuss electrohydraulic, and I'm going to integrate the electrical and hydraulic system. If this is your first time here, Check my other video on technical interview question and answer for electrical, mechanical, HVAC, automotive, engineering, and many more. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's go back to our discussion. And for the retracting side of the directional control valve, when the retract solenoid valve or number two is activated or energized, the high oil pressure from the tank is pumped out going to the port B of the cylinder and pushing backward the piston into the retract position and the oil on port A of the cylinder will return back to the tank via filter to remove some moisture and dirt and for the neutral position of the cycle the actuator or cylinder is not in motion just like when you are driving a car when you put the steering stick to neutral position the transmission will not engage. The same in hydraulic, when you are not going to energize the solenoid valve, the cylinder will remain at initial position. And the oil from the pump going to the directional control valve, then back to the tank via filter. This is the hydraulic system that we disassemble and assemble for repair, because the hydraulic cylinder cannot carry load anymore. The actual video will play after this hydraulic component. This is the pressure transmitter or pressure switch. This is the filter. 24 volts terminal for directional control bulb. This is the flow control bulb. This is the hydraulic pump. Electric motor. Motor shaft coupling. This is the coupling of the pump. This is the shaft of the pump. 
this is the indication for OE lifespan. Green should be good and red should be bad. This two pipe is the suction and return pipe of oil. And this is the suction and connection for hydraulic hoses. skip the video we have additional information on how to read directional control valve now let's get started on how to read directional control valves valve switching positions are represented by a square the number of squares shows how many switching position lines indicate flow path arrows indicates direction lines indicate that is close Connection outside the box or valve. This is one of the examples of directional control valves. The first letter represents the number of ports, and the second letter represents the number of position. This valve is a two-way two directional control valve, normally open. The next one is three two-way directional control valve, normally closed. The next one is four two-way directional control valve flow from 1 to 2 and from 4 to 3. The next one is 5 two-way directional control valve flow from 1 to 2 and from 4 to 5. Next, 5 three-way directional control valve, made position close. Our next topic is how to read numbering system of directional control valves. If your directional control valve uses number, or letter for their port's direction. Here's the equivalent for the numbers and letter. For number one and letter P, that is pressure port or supply ports. For number two and four, or A or B, that is working lines. For number three and five, or R and S, that is exhaust ports. And for our pilot lines or signal, 10 is equivalent to Z, 12 is equivalent to Y or Z, 14 is equivalent to Z. Now let's proceed to our pneumatic component symbols. The two pressure valves works on the same principle with series circuit and AND gate. The output of the two pressure valve is true or high if the two pressure input A and B are true, otherwise it's false. And the equivalent series circuit, the bulb will only glow if the two switches are on. And if one of the switches are off, the light will not glow. And for the AND gate, it behaves according to truth table. The output of AND gate is 1 if both input A and B are 1, otherwise it's 0. If we are going to look here on the truth table, input A is 0. Input B is 0, output is 0. Input A is 0, input B is 1, output 0. Input A, input A is 1, input B is 0, output 0. Input A is 1, input B is 1, output is 1. And for shuttle valves, work on the same principle with parallel circuit, and OR gate logic gates. The output of the shuttle bulb is true if either of the two inputs are true. And for the parallel circuit, 
the bulb will glow if either of the two push button are pressed or two push button pressed together. And for the OR gate, it behaves according to truth table. The output of OR gate is true if either of the two inputs are true. Otherwise, it's false.